Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org, coming to you this Monday morning, February 13th. We are looking at Window Trader's market profile of the ES and SPY. I hope everybody had a lovely weekend, enjoyed uh, watching the Super Bowl yesterday. Actually a competitive game, which is always fun to see. Got to give Kansas City uh, a lot of credit coming back from 10 down as they never, never stop battling. So just like Kansas City, we're going to be battling these markets again this morning. Um, right now, market shot up pretty good about a half hour ago above Friday's high. As you can see, initially, pre-market, we're trying to take back one set of the single prints from our triple distribution on February 9th and get into the middle distribution. We'll see if that's going to continue. We still have uh, close to 90 minutes to go prior to the opening. But for now, they're attempting to do that in the ES and SPY NQ is right above Friday's high, so they're not even near their single prints from the, uh, the 9th. And as far as the Russell, same thing. So the S&P is the one that's really trying to break above Friday's high, which would mean a couple of things. A, emotional trading continues if we gap higher. Again, there's still time, but if we gap higher, it'd just be another gap this year. And But more importantly, it would put the daily back into balance, um, which is what Obviously, the bulls want to do. Don't forget, we have an inside month this month, which we closed just below on Friday, and we had an inside week last week. So, could get very interesting this week, especially uh, you know uh, with when the algos will react to that CPI number uh, tomorrow. Um, so, as far as the game plan this morning, well, again, depending on if we gap and how large the gap is. Remember, the gaps have not held this year. Okay, only two have held, one on the upside, one on the downside out of 14, I believe, that we've had. So the odds of the gap holding have not been good. So it all depends. If uh, it's a gap of less than a dollar and it looks like they want to hold it, you can take along against Friday's high with the high of value and be out if the gap fills or maybe use H as high as you're out if you want to give yourself just a little room to see if all they want to do is fill the gap because at times they do do that. On the flip side, if it was to open up and drive straight down with any kind of tempo and volume, I might take a short just to close the gap and then see if I want to reverse long against what I said about them just wanting to fill the gap. In the next 90 minutes, if this gap becomes rather large, then there's no way I'm longing it and I might actually short it the first time if for argument's sake we're trading up around 25, 26 in those second set of single prints. Uh, you know, if, if we were to open up around that level, I'd probably take a short in there up to ease low, add to it to see if we stay out of the upper distribution at least the first time, okay? If in the next 90 minutes we don't gap higher, well, then any push up, I would look for a short against both probably K's high from that day. Well, K's high and the overnight high is pretty much a lot of heat. So I might actually wait, not do it at K's high, but then see if we front run the overnight high. Remember, we have such a history in the S&P of front running overnight highs and lows. All early plays again um, that you'd be getting in this trading room uh, on a minute by minute basis. And then on the chart. So the monthly, like I said, is up. It was an inside month up. We came back inside last month's for now. We're trying to break out of it again. But the monthly for now is up. The weekly is up to balance inside week. When we come out of this inside week, you look to go with it and monitor it for continuation or lack of. So that's something to keep an eye on at some point this week. And the daily, if we take out Friday's high... It comes back into balance. I would probably just encompass this as one huge balance again if we take out Friday's high. I would use uh, the second high as a, uh, the upper end of the balance and Friday's low as the bottom of it. The 20-day moving average right now closed at 404.08. So that should also be um, climbing a little more once the market opens. Good luck trading today. Thanks for the likes and subscribing, and we'll recap at 4 p.m.